I am trying to get a lot of work done. I'm trying to. I've got. I've got an. I've got a a, 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 a writing curriculum that I'm trying to, to get done, and I'm I'm trying to edit a a, a paper for a product that a, 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 a one of my clients is coming out. I've got stuff I got to do, but I have to stop for this very special edition podcast because of everything that's happening with Milo or Milo is uh, one guy uh, calls him. So I need to say something about pedophilia. The buzzword gets everybody excited. You know, I, I'm probably going to get sued for this. Not now, maybe 10, 20, 30, 50 years from now, I'm probably going to get sued for it. Eventually, everything you say can end up getting you sued, just depending on what time it is. Uh, okay, here's what it is. Pedophilia is a sin. I know, I'm going to get sued for that. Uh, probably not from a conservative group. It would probably come from an other than conservative group. Uh, I don't know. Milo's the expert. Uh, in this topic, he's the guy that deals with the press and gets. No, go. I, I think in his, re- I was watching his response to all this, uh, just so that I know what was going on. <sighs> How? I mean, no, no. We've got liberals out there advocating for it. I mean, I, I don't know if you're aware or not, but serious character assassination went against Michael Jackson after he bought 50% of Sony and said, I'm not making any more of these videos according to you guys anymore. I'm doing what I want to do. And it was three years after that, that the accusations came out against him. And even Rush Limbaugh said that the case against Michael Jackson was really not that strong. And Limbaugh did not, uh, support. I mean, that's weird. Since when did Limbaugh care about Michael Jackson? Right. So, you know, I'd I'd take Limbaugh as uh, the the hostile witness in Michael Jackson's favor is how some people might be able to take the Limbaugh thing. Pedophilia is the universal character assassination uh, silver bullet. Someone wants to destroy someone through the media. Pedophilia is the most endorsed, most supported by the religious right, which I am kind of a part of, way to uh, assassinate someone's character. I'm not going to say to character assassinate, because that would be to take a a noun, an abstract noun that created from a verb and then revert back into a verb. I don't do that. You know, I don't outreach to people. I reach out to people and that's called outreach. So I don't talk about uh, character assassinating people. I talk about character assassination as the assassination of one's character because I know how English works. And so now that that little free English lesson is done, (sighs) character assassination loves, here, here it comes. You're going to love hating it. I'm going to say it again. Pedophilia. Now, I'm going to write what I really think about what happened with Milo in the news, which I've I've pretty much already written. Uh, we'll see what changes I make to it, of course. But the upcoming editorials from the Pacific Daily Times, of which I am the senior editor-in-chief, that comes out at the day that it always comes out. And if you want my comments, you're going to have to go there. But I'm going to say something that I'm not going to put in there because it's off topic. I can't write what I'm going to say. What I'm going to say here, I can't put there on the editorial. And what I say in the editorial, I can't put here because you have to stay focused on the topic. That's a little clue for you. There's certain, everything has its arena that you have to focus on. So this is a very special edition podcast because I can only talk about pedophilia here pedophilia is a sin just like everything else is a sin there is not a special place in hell for pedophiles there's only a special place in hell for repeat extravagant sinners Now, there may be a special place in hell that has Hitler and also serial pedophiles and also serial killers. There may be serial sinners, but there's not like the pedophile section over there and then like 
the, the you know the antichrist kill a bunch of Jews section over there in hell. That's not how it works. In God's eyes, all sin is sin. And pedophilia, mark this down as words from the prophet. I am not a prophet, but if you want to mark it down, I mean, prophets don't predict the future. A futurist predicts the future. I predict the future many times, as much as I can see it. The prophet speaks to the people from God. This is not a word from God to the people. But if you need to call it that so you can understand it, then you have my permission to mislabel this incorrectly as the prediction from the prophet. If that's how you understand, misunderstand it. That the prediction is, pedophilia is going to increase and become legal because of the response to this. And it all comes because Christians have created a special type of sin that the Bible does not specify. Pedophilia is absolutely terribly horrible, along with every other terrible, horrible sex outside of marriage. A man and a woman, both 50 years old, not married, having sex, is just as equally abhorrible in God's eyes and in the Bible's eyes. Horrible! It leads to broken homes. It leads to broken families. It leads to children who grow up with lots of problems. Children are susceptible to people like pedophiles because their 50-year-old parents were having extramarital marital relations. Homosexuality, I, I hold to this. I just got finished writing my, my doctrinal statement, uh, uh, Mere Theology, where I explain my opinion. I don't, I don't target people and bash. I will not. I will not target and bash individuals over the issue of homosexuality. I will not do it. I have my opinion for myself. And I believe, and that opinion includes that God is the judge. God is the judge of sexual sin. We have our laws and society and so forth uh, that need to be whatever they need to be. But God is the judge and I do not judge. I don't, you, you're a fornicator. I don't do that. If, if you commit an abhorrible act of sin, like, you know, having sex with someone you're not married to, I'm not going to go protest at your funeral. I don't believe in that. I, 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 I will protect you. You commit sin, someone protests at your funeral, I will come protect your, uh, your corpse uh, from the protesters. Okay, if, if I can. I mean, you know, as much as I'm, I might be on the other side of the world, you know, from where... But I, I don't like attacking people over their sin, and I'm not going to do it. But my personal opinion... As I read the Bible, Sodom and Gomorrah is the favorite city to pick on as far as talking about who's really bad. Oh, you're almost as bad as Sodom and Gomorrah. Like in the Bible, Sodom and Gomorrah is is the butt of the insults. You want to insult a city? Compare it to Sodom and Gomorrah. That's how it works in the Bible. And in the New Testament, it describes Sodom and Gomorrah as having a moral problem. They had immorality. And there was only one moral activity on the table at Sodom and Gomorrah. And it was not hospitality. It wasn't failure to be hospitable to the guests. It was immorality, and there was only one act of immorality. And the same thing that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah also happened in Gibeah. A, sod, a mob of people who wanted to commit sodomy wanted into the house of the guy in their city so that they could do their thing to the foreigner who was visiting. It happened in Sodom and Gomorrah, and it happened again in Gibeah. Genesis 19 and Judges 19. It happened two times. Yeah, exactly the same scenario. Oh, well, as far as this, what the people in the city wanted to do. So, I wrote about that in Mere Theology. And the New Testament talks about that as a moral problem. I believe homosexuality is therefore immoral. You may not like that. Fine. My point being, I do not have a special category of homosexuality as a separate sin. I argue in my doctrinal statement, Mere Theology, the ebook, I argue that homosexuality is not a special sin in the Bible. You'll have people 
who condemn homosexuality in the Bible, but when they see it, they don't go, oh, yeah, uh, 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 a homosexual, really? I'm so bad, bad. Oh, uh, well, he's having a marital affair. You know, that's, uh, that, that's bad. But, uh, that, 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 okay, but he's a homosexual. Well, that's what the church does, but that's not what the Bible does. And that's what I explain in Mere Theology. We have these separate categories of these special sins that the Bible doesn't talk about. But Christians create these extra categories. Okay, like a man and woman having sex, that's, that's, that's kind of bad. And, and if you're a pastor, we'll fire you if you do that. But if someone's a homosexual, oh, we're going <gasps> to... We're going to do that also. Oh, and if they're a, 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 a pedophile, if someone's a certain, if two 13 year olds have sex, we're going to go, oh, darn it. And then if, if, uh, if you know where this is going, if a 14 year old and a 17 year old have sex, we're going to go, ah. but then if, if, if a 13 year old and an 18 year old have sex, we're going to go, ah! And we're going to just freak out more. It's all sin. It's all abhorrable. And by drawing these extra categories, listen to me. This is prediction time. I predicted Trump's election back in February. That it, I predicted it was going to be a Trump Hillary ticket. N- now, I, I, w- I was supposedly wrong about New Hampshire, but now that's even in question with voter fraud questions. I might have been more right than I thought I was about the turnout. It's prediction time. Much of the time at Pacific Daily Times, I'm predicting what's going to happen, and I'm predicting this. Don't miss what I'm predicting. Pedophilia is going to increase and eventually become legalized in many countries. Maybe not all. Probably not all. It'll take too long. Jesus will get here before it gets to all of them, I believe. But pedophilia is going to become legalized because people have made it a special extra sin rather than one abhorrable sin among all other abhorrable sins. They've diminished the others. And we're going to make this one. We're going to freak out about it. And because of that, it's going to get attention and it is going to increase because it's going to get attention. Negative, positive, doesn't matter. It's going to get attention. Attention's attention. That's the, that's the secret about the press. Attention is attention. It's going to, it's going to increase. It's going to become legal. It's going to become endorsed and taught in schools. And here's why I know this. Because it's not a separate sin in God's eyes. And when we try to improve on perfection, we're going to mess ourselves up more. God taught Israel Do not stray to the right or to the left from this law I'm giving you. Don't lean too relaxed with it. Don't try to be tighter and more strict than it. Follow the law I'm giving you. And when we try to create extra categories and view it as a sin, when God does not make those distinctions... We end up stirring the poop and it attracts flies. It's going to increase. It's going to grow because we tried to have a better idea. You should, you should watch my Instagram account just as just, yes, yesterday. I, 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 I grabbed some tea and I, I saw on a label. You can't improve on perfection. Something like that. Go look at his Instagram. I did it yesterday. It's exactly what I was thinking about. Exactly. It might've been a prophetic message, folks. You know, I had, that might be the prophetic message. 
if I was to take a role of prophet, if I thought for a brief moment that God wanted me to do something unusual and do the unusual abnormal thing of me putting on the prophet hat for just a couple seconds and deliver a message, it would be this. We can't improve on perfection. We can't. God's law is perfect. And when we try to have a better idea, things are only going to get worse. See, I'm going to grab my smartphone here and I'm going to try to go back through and all the slowness of my smartphone and all the unnecessary apps. And I'm going to try to find the picture that I put on Instagram. There it is. There it is. Nothing beats perfection. Since 1989. Maybe that's a reference to Reagan. I, I, that, that, that nothing beats perfection. February 21st. Go find it on my Instagram account. Pedophilia is a sin. It's an abhorrible, terrible sin, just like a 50-year-old man and a 50-year-old woman doing the abhorrible thing of having sex outside of marriage, destroying people's lives through it, creating broken homes or children who grow up in broken homes, who grow up to be, you know, have lots of problems. There are all kinds of abhorrible sins and pedophilia is one of them. But it should not be treated as a separate category. And the fact that we have treated it as a separate category will make it increase and it will become common. And it's all because we tried to improve on perfection. And that is this very special edition podcast. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.